remember coming back into the Vancouver room and it was a square. Yeah. You guys have changed it. It's oval now. Why the difference? Well, I think there's a couple of reasons uh, for sure, Elliot. You know, we had a chance to do anything we wanted. And uh, so, I, you know, in the old days, like I, I go way back to the Montreal Forum days and that was a small, intimate room. Uh, players and people couldn't believe how small that room was. And, you know, you look at new arenas came with huge dressing rooms. Now you, you, you feel the one thing that I think misses with a big dressing room is, is that intimacy. You, know, you can't look way over there to see someone's eyes. You know, what, what are you thinking? What are you feeling? Where's your passion? So round dressing room, smaller space, more intimate, and you know, we think it's the right thing. And now we're standing right here in front of Roberto Luongo's locker, and the logo is facing right at him. I understand that's not anything that happened by accident that's on purpose yeah louis wanted that so you know it's great i mean when you you get a chance to look at uh, your number one player where he wants to sit and you can build around it certainly defense are on this side and forwards surround uh, louis and razor and uh, that's what he wanted that's what he gets the Canucks installed an instruction program called XO at the front of their room. Anything Walter or the other coaches draws with their finger on the small screen shows up on the big one. But the key piece of this setup is the lounge. So I understand when you took this job, one of the first things you did was change the lounge. Why? Knowing the pressure that's on them in a city like Vancouver and understanding the demands on their time, we designed this so that every player has to come through here before they get to their car. And they come through here and they eventually they stop and do some computer stuff and they have we have always have food here for them. Um, they'll eat and um, we just tried to recreate that element of camaraderie in this space. Uh, a lot of guys just uh, wake up, get out of the wrapper and come right to the rink and shower and eat breakfast here. So, uh, you know, very accommodating that way. And, and after practice, we'll, we'll hang out for, you know, half hour to two hours in the lounge there talking on the computer, watching TV, the football game on or something like that. We have every game, uh, you know, on the computer so that our players can go back, they can fast forward, they can look at every shift. Uh, we have every power play goal scored so far. We have goals for goals against uh, chance sheets. So there's a lot of things that we have on that uh, site. When you have young players on a team, you know, oftentimes uh, they'll reach for the most convenient thing, so we've made it the most convenient thing to reach for. What we have here is, uh, it's basically, it's a Crestron system, and it's driven by biometrics right off our, uh, right off the fingertips here. So one of the neat fe features to turn on the system is just a little swipe of our thumb, uh, and that can get everything going here. If we want to dim everything in here, dim all the lights down, you can just use your pointing finger. And uh, at the end of the day, when we're ready to go home, just take your middle finger and give it a little swipe, and it'll just shut down the whole system. Yeah, everything's great. It's tough to pick uh, something. I really like how they put the jerseys in the hallway there. That's, uh, to see the history like that, it's, it's pretty cool. That's one of several smaller but important details. For example, two entrances instead of one into the dressing room for Pat O'Neill and his equipment staff sunken tubs instead of above ground tin ones with more room for injured players therapy and a new video room as Vino and his staff has moved away from the players. A lot of times in the mornings we'd be talking about certain players and the players would be walking in the hallway <laughs> so we just thought it'd be a better idea we could do all the bad language that we wanted on this side. <laughs> it's no coincidence that the renovations are complete. We'll be in dressing room for the event and the Canucks certainly want word to get around about what's been done. I think the reality is you're in a Sally Cup world for uh, general managers and teams and walk into an environment like this where it's where it's beautiful, it's uh, um, you know makes a player comfortable. Um, that might change uh, whether they sign with Team A or Team Team B. I don't really care. Like uh, like uh, every locker room in NHL is uh, it's pretty good standard. In the NHL, it's so competitive now. It's so competitive to get players uh, to come to your team that you have to make sure that you're covering all bases and having a first-class facility is definitely one of those things that you have to do. <laughs>